What's up guys, Charles from Team COG, coming at you guys with the long-awaited Crusadia Guard Dragon deck profile. So guys, I have been, I'm sorry for the lack of content. Work called me, so I had to go down to Colorado to work, and um, I wasn't able to get any content up, and then after I was able to make it to the sneak peek, most importantly, but then I got whomped with a head cold, and it's been, it's been kicking my butt. So if I sound graspy or just not my normal self, that's the reason why. But uh, this deck is, ever since uh, Brandless came out also, so that sucks for the Brilliant Fusion variant because I think that was on par with the Guard Dragons. But now I can't really show you guys a profile involving Brilliant because, well, collateral damage. So sadly, I gotta, well, not really sadly. So sadly, I have to take that out, and I now think that the Guard Dragon variant is one of the best variants for going first. So I'm missing essentially two cards, a Guard Dragon, a World Legacy Guard Dragon, the Continuous Spell, and a Boral Savage Dragon. So I will show you guys what you guys can take out for them. Also, I will show you, like, the substitutes I have in at the moment. So, but without further ado, let's just jump into the profile. And I'll explain to you guys my choices and my reasons going on. So we'll put that right there. So... Uh, three Maximus. Maximus is my favorite in the entire deck. His artwork is so cool, just... Uh, the lore behind this deck is so nice, but uh, he's he's not as needed now because of the ability to go first. Like we don't, he does nothing for us going first. The only thing he does for us going first is his level. Um, however, going second, I still play Crusadias because I, I please still play Crusadias in my extra deck because personally, guys, I did not want this deck just to become a Crusadia engine mixed with dragons to be a pretty much a guard dragon turbo. I still want to incorporate a lot of the Crusadia monsters so that I can still do what the deck was designed to do, which is one punch. So. Um, maximizing on three of him, and now we go on to three Arborea. So Arborea is the next best. Excuse me, she's 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 one of the better ones now. She's always been good because she's a level three tuner and she's a return of the true dragon lords, which is really good. But moving on to the best Draco or the best Crusadia in this deck is Crusadia Draco, and that is because he's the he fits the requirements of the uh, the guard dragons, which allows us to abuse that engine. So he's really he's really worth it. Um, if you don't know, he allows you to add back from Grave. Uh, Arborea protects, and then Maximus allows you to deal double battle damage for all you new people. But um, he is really good. He's he's now the best one. He's the best Draco, or excuse me, the best Crusadia for this uh, in the deck. But these three are the most important. He and Draco being the first, and these guys, you must maximize three of each of these guys. You need to. But we'll just move on to the rest of the Crusadias. So we are maxing out on all the Crusadias now. Three Reclusia, which this one allows you to pop, and three uh, three Leonis. And the reason you want to do this is because you have the combo, like the, the giant Wombo combo with just two Crusadias, so you want to maximize out your ability to open two Crusadias. It really does not matter which ones you open. You're in a good place if you open Draco, but if you don't open Draco, no worries. You can just search it, but... Excuse me, guys. Uh, this right here is the last bit of the Crusadias. Um, you can probably cut these down... Probably the two, two, whichever you want to, but I think you must play them all at max just because you need to see Crusadius. That's the one way this deck loses, is not seeing Crusadius. So moving on, we're of course playing two crown. So I kept trying to fit in Lance, but Lance just Lance is only good for when you're blind going second and you're trying to go second. So in this version of the deck, you're trying to go first, and then you just side into going second, which is of course a smoke screen hit hit to Kaiju's. Um, my side deck's not complete, so I won't show you, but there's a little uh little uh clue to what my side deck will incorporate but two crowns you don't want to play three because it does clog it's this card is really good because it's an extender and it's a negation too so like worst case you'll end on it and it's a form of negation best case it allows you to extend farther into your synchro plays it's, it's just really good it um it comes off pretty well with destrudo if i remember right come with destrudo and everything like that so that's it for the crusadias and the world legacies so so we're Similar standard lineup to previously before, but we're trying to max out all the Crusadias. Um, Crown is really good, like I said. You don't want to play Lance because this is primary for going first. So, moving on to essentially the dragon side of the engine. So, we're playing three Collapse Serpent and one Wyvern Buster. You don't want to play more than one of this. I see people playing two and you don't because this card is such a brick in your hand. Like, of course, you can put it back with Serayuja, but you got to get to Serayuja first, and that's including if you don't get Hand Trap. But this right here, he's not the best because he requires a dark monster to banish, and the only darks you play is Crown, Red MD, and uh, the Collapse Servant. So you don't you normally want to banish to summon him. You want to banish one of these guys. This is where this guy shines because all your Crusadia extra deck monsters are lights. So you immediately get to float. You immediately get to summon these guys essentially for free. So it's really good. Uh, that's 
that's it for the I guess the chaos dragons. Uh, one red eyes darkness metal dragon. He's the boss. He's he's busted. I wouldn't say he's the boss monster of the main deck. He your main all of your combos revolve around him. One Destrudo. Now I've, I'm testing one at the moment, but however I kind of want to bump it up a little bit more just to to see it because worst case scenario, like if you don't open, if you don't open any of these guys or a Draco. You just special summon a Crusadia, and then special summon this, reducing its level, then go into one of your guard dragons, but he's really good. And finally, Armor Phage Goliath. Uh, Armor Phage Goliath is really good. I'm not playing the, what do you call it, the uh, Galaxy Dark Matter combo in the extra deck where I just send this guy with Arc Brave. I'm not using that. I'm trying to utilize this by summoning him off of my last Seri, summoning this guy off my last Seri Uja so that I can lock my opponent out of the extra deck, so... I'm testing that. I really like it. It's coming clutch. So, like, even if you end on just two negations in this, you're more than likely going to win. But I really, I really am enjoying it. However, I don't know how going farther into the future how this guy will do. So, but that's it for the three dragons. And now we'll just kind of move on to the hand traps. Uh, three Ash Blossom. So previously, in a going second variant of the deck, which I probably will show, I recommend just playing Infinite Impermanences, and that's it. But in this version, since you want to end on as many negations and hand traps as possible, because you can fix your hand with Saryuja, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring is very well needed. It's the best hand trap out there. That's it for the monsters, guys. So as you guys can see, it's a really hefty monster count. <laughs> Huge monsters. And I normally don't like decks that have like high monster counts, but I really do enjoy this deck. I think it's so nice to see this deck have a successful first turn and still be able to do Crusadia things going second. So moving on... Uh, Three Call by the Grave, you really want to open this guy so that you can assert, uh, ensure that your combos go off. But uh, there's not really much we can do. When we get uh, Crusadia Testament, I don't think the Guard Dragon variant will, might, might still be one of the best variants for going first, but I think the Testament, will, along with Call by the Grave, will make the pure version way better. Uh, but uh, moving on, we'll have two Guard Dragons. So uh, you should play three of these. I was testing with two, two, one, etc. But you need to have three of these, and I didn't. I wasn't able to get three. So to kind of supplement it, I'm playing two World Legacy Successions. However, always get, take note that one of these should be a uh, Guard Dragon, World Legacy Guard Dragon. So, And then, of course, one Monster Reborn. Essentially, you want to have five forms of, re of, re of a Revival from the Graveyard. And this essentially covers it for the time being until I pick up my Guard Dragon. But this is really good. If you guys don't know what this new card does, it allows you to special summon a level four Dragon from your Graveyard or add it to your hand. So then after that, you have the ability to move a Dragon to any main monster zone. So that means you can move it from the uh, extra deck down to the main monster zone if needed because it doesn't specify. And we will move on. Um, we're still, I'm still testing Twin Twisters. Uh, 10 Twin Twisters. I, so my theory behind this is I wanted these to be instant fusions, but the extra deck is so tight that I really... Um, didn't I didn't have the space, so I thought Twin Twisters would be a good card to keep because you're not always going to win the dice roll. And I know it's kind of chinky for me to say, but I'd much rather, if I'm going against Alter Geist and Sky Strikers, open one of these guys and be able to blow them out and establish my board and win versus not having these and getting caught with my pants down. So I'm testing with two Twin Twisters, still got to work it out and see if it fits. However, you can easily cut this for probably some more hand traps if needed and whatnot. But uh, Twin Twisters right now, because like I said, you don't want to get caught with your pants down. And then I'm trying, I'm still, I'm playing one Rota because Rota gets you the Arborea, which you need two Crusadias in your hand to go off, and sometimes you will not get them, so you want to optimize your chance to open Crusadias as much as possible, because despite the amount that you're playing, sometimes you won't get them, and it just blows my mind, but that's ratios and all that math that I'm not good at. Uh, two Impermanents, I recommend playing three, but I just only have one at the, two at the moment. I would highly recommend playing three. You could probably cut the reinforcements of the army or one of the Twin Twisters here for it, and then just throw in like a random upstart or something like that, you know. But I do recommend playing three. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Cold's getting the best of me. I do recommend playing three of these, but I just have access to two. So, and it still works phenomenal with just two. So I can't really complain for the last trap. One crawler. Um, I took this guy out, and I want you guys to know that there is times when you're playing, after you go through all your Sarayujas, you're going to be able to end on an equal max. So that's another form of negation, and you just want to be able to search the Crawler to pretty much summon to search out your Succession, your World Legacy Guard Dragon, your, your Crown, and pretty much make your equal max negation live. So that's the only reason I'm testing it. Um, and also, if you draw it, you just put it back with Sarayuja. That's, the, that's one of the most amazing things about this deck, is the ability that the deck has to correct its hands. That just blows me away, so... We'll go ahead and put this away. Put this right here. We'll move on to the extra deck. So, 
three magius. Uh, you, I always, I've always liked magius. However, you guys got to understand, you got to cut things down to be optimal. So until I get my savage dragon, I'm playing three magius. But once I get savage dragon, we'll take one out, and it'll just be two magius. But until then, if you don't have savage dragon, you can play three magius. And essentially, guys, like I did not like where the builds were going. So essentially, they would just play this and a one spatha. And Spatha is just the key combo piece to your entire plays. Like, if you guys want to, I'll put up a combo video here in the next day or so. Or hopefully have some duels for you that you see the combos going out. But, like, <laughs> this, would, this would be it. And this right here did not say Crusadia to me. This said, oh, great, you're just using an engine. And as much as I understand that's how Yu-Gi-Oh is, I just did not like it. So I opted to play one Regulex and one Equimax. Because, to me, the, it's not Crusadia without Equimax. So... Um, the theory behind this is when you blind go, when you're forced to go second, you just make equal max and win. And then also the second theory behind it is that have that it has provided accurate testing that I have done accurate testing that has provided really good um, results. Is when you do your last Sarah Yuja, sometimes you just draw into a bunch of Crusades, and that's okay. I mean, as long as you draw into a bunch of them, you can make your Sarah Yuja, go into Regulex, search out the crawler, and then set the and then link up into equal max and then set the crawler, summon the crawler, get a search, then you have a negate with equal max on top of your Dawn Dragster, your Crystal Wing, your, your infinite impermanences, your hand traps. So it's really good. It's good for... It, it just re it requires a really, really good hand to go into this going first. But essentially, when you go second, you just want to do the same thing the deck's always done. One punch, and then... You just, if you just want a quick 2 well, you want to win the dice roll, go first, and get, uh, set a negate, 4, negate, 5 board... When they say go second, side in your kaiju, side in your slumber, side in every going second card possible, and then just one punch and turn two, so you two all one. But I, uh, to me, it wasn't a Crusadia deck without playing Regulex and Equimax. So, but like I said, guys, please cut down Magius if you have Savage Dragon. I just don't have mine yet, and it will be cut down. So, moving on uh, for the Guard Dragons, one Ipsy, one Pipsy, one Ipsy, and one Agapain. So these guys are a new addition to the deck, and they do great work. I see people playing two of these, and I don't really, I don't, I don't find the room for it, and I understand the need, I don't understand the need for it, I just, I don't have the room to play two, I'd much rather play, like, a Crusadia card, rather than playing two of these, that's just my personal opinion, don't, uh, witch hunt me for it, so, uh, if you guys don't know what these do, I'll give you a, a sum, so Ipsy summons from the, uh, well, let's just do it this way, Pipsy summons from the, uh, Banished or Graveyard, Ipsy summons from the Hand or Deck, and Agapain summons from the Extra Deck. So he is really needed to get out your negation. One Phoenix, you still need to play Phoenix so you can pop the back row because sometimes you won't open Twin Twisters so you need to get rid of a problematic floodgate and Phoenix is there. Uh, two Skull Dread. So yes, you do need to play two guys. Like you can go through two easy. Like you, you always go through two. I mean, if you go through one and it gets stopped, you just make a second one. It's, it's honestly busted like... After a certain point, like, your most fragile point in the combo is with Spatha and Ipsy. So, like, these two cards, right, this this is your most fragile point in the entire deck. After you get past this point, and if they have any, if they hold out their hand traps for the Skull Dread, it's okay. You just make another one. It's really good. And it allows you to correct your hands, draw into more negations, more extenders. It's, it's really good. You must, you have to play two. I, unless this card goes to one, I don't, I think it's incorrect to play anything less than two. One Boral Load, just because we have the ability to go into it, and sometimes, sometimes um, you'll, you won't, your equal max won't be able to push for game, or you won't have the material to make equal max, so you just make the Boral, dra uh, Boral Dragon to out problematic monsters. One Dog Dragster uh, for negations, and one Crystal Wing to summon off Agapain. And like I said, guys, this right here should be Savage Dragon, but sadly, I did, wasn't able to acquire one, so... That is it for the deck profile, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Please tell me what your opinions are of the Guard Dragons. I'd like to hear it. Um, stay tuned for our dual videos and combo videos coming up. Also, guys, remember, once we reach 2,000 subscribers, I have a pretty lit surprise coming for you guys that only a certain handful of people will be able to acquire. So let's get to 2,000 subscribers so I can reveal to you that surprise. Without further ado, guys, this is Charles from Team COG signing out.